excited. If you made it to the end, you're gonna get some extra footage. Hey, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so awkward to start because it's been so long. What is up, you guys? Happy New Year. Welcome back to my channel. Man, I feel like I kind of have a lot of explaining to do. This video is going to be me sharing my Christmas gifts because everybody has been asking me what I got for Christmas. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to be explaining like what I've been going through, my thought process, how I feel emotionally, how I felt around the holidays. Just things that I think I should share because I've been asking you guys to follow me on this journey. So I'm going to show you guys the good and the bad to a certain extent because, you know, I need to keep some of my stuff personal, like, just for me. I'll start off with the first gift and just, you know, try to start talking. Alright, so, I got this Nike hoodie. I don't know if it's blurry. Apparently my brother still thinks I'm, like, humongous. But it's super cute and there is a gift receipt. And the material is just so nice, so I'm so grateful and excited for that. And the color. Like, the color is so gorgeous. Man, this is so hard. I have not uploaded for the past two weeks and you know, that was Christmas week and New Year's week. I've just been dealing with a lot emotionally, okay? And I feel like I always tell you guys that, which is why I kind of want to get in a little bit deeper. I'm gonna tell you guys what, um, what brings me down. I'm feeling better, which is why I can talk about it. I am appreciative and grateful for everything I have and you know, that's what keeps me happy. I am happy all around, but there are times where there's negative thoughts that, you know, conquer my brain and I just don't feel as motivated and I'm just confused and sad and just being down on myself, you know? That's why you should always like be your best supporter because you talk to yourself the most and my like devil on the shoulder was winning. YouTube is going great. I love my supporters. I have been feeling lonely, you guys. I'm gonna just put it out there. I've been really lonely and I'm 25 and I want kids and I want to do everything the right way. So I'm just like kind of like what the heck is going on? Like I'm kind of panicking and I'm just like wondering like why can I not find somebody like compatible with me? Why? Like is it me? You know, like there are people who do like I'm gonna just say it. There are people who do want to take me out, you know, people who slide in my DMs, but it's just like, that's just not what I want. Like, and I'm not just talking about looks, but it's just like, you can tell when somebody's serious and I don't know y'all, I just don't know how to explain it, but I just be feeling so lonely. Like, yes, I have my family, but I'm allowed to feel how I feel. Like anybody who's feeling depressed or sad or anything like that, when you express your feelings, definitely don't feel like you're a burden or you should be the last one complaining or feeling sad because you are allowed to feel how you feel. Don't let anybody um, make your feelings feel invalidated because they don't walk in your shoes. They have absolutely no clue. Another gift I got from my brother are little notebooks. And this is so thoughtful because I've been telling him that I want to get a little journal to write my ideas and my thoughts or just, I don't know yet. I just want to write in it because... Yo, like, I just be having so many ideas that I just forget about because I just don't put it down. So he went and, I don't know, Amazon it and got me notes. Notebooks that says, like a boss. The other journal says, good things come to those who hustle. But yeah, feeling lonely has been, like, killing me a lot. Because it's not just feeling lonely. It's not just, oh, I don't have somebody to show off, hug me, yada, yada, yada. It's also, like, a self-reflection. Like, why did your relationship, why did your past relationships go wrong? Not just boyfriend either, you guys. It's, like friendships you know my family there are sometimes I do like bicker with my family sometimes like where did I go wrong there you know it's just a huge self-reflection so you can see how that kind of takes a toll I'm 25 I'm not where I want to be and I know like you know it's not a race but with myself I know I could do better and I just keep making excuses for myself I am disappointed in myself so th that's another thought that just keeps me going down and down and down and it's really hard and um you know I was just thinking I can only imagine like I have family I have a great support system I have you guys for real like I have enough supporters now that I can just reach out or relate to different people and I'm so grateful for that so I can only imagine the people who have it a little bit worse than me and is going through it if you're watching this I want you guys to know that you're not alone and and I'm going through it too, even though I look like I'm happy and, you know, all around I am, but I still deal with things. So if you're dealing with it, it's okay. Like, even if you're not dealing with what you're dealing with right now, it's going to be something else. Life always gives us problems. It's just how do we deal with it. So just keep going, you guys. Today, I woke up on a good day, so I was like, I'm going to do this. I owe them something. I'm going to get it done. I have to um, edit my holiday vlogs, which I think I'm going to struggle it, struggle with a little bit because um, I'll get to that. My brother... 
he got me these books he's trying to insult me it's like nah this was also very thoughtful i've been telling him that i want to get into reading because you know when i'm bored look this goes back to me being lonely i told him how i felt like if i'm lonely like it's just a feeling I'm like if you're lonely i could literally just ignore that feeling and do something productive at night maybe that's when i feel lonely right instead of thinking man i wish i had someone to call or something why don't i make it a goal to finish a book and i told him what kind of books like I want to learn how to be a better me or entrepreneur stuff and I, ha I know nothing about these books and I'm gonna get to it. Oh, I posted this on Instagram and I saw a lot of you guys DM'd me, not just about this book, but about this book too, but it just reminded me. I have not replied to anybody and I hope nobody takes offense to it. I do apologize. I just didn't feel ready to be kind, like, you know, put a lot of thought into my replies. So that's why I haven't gotten back to it. I do plan on getting back to it today. Today is the second. It's still the beginning of the new year and I'm gonna make sure I set my new year right. Like, we set the mood for everything. You don't have to put a time on it. Just because it's January 1st, January 2nd, like, and you're mentally not even, like, there yet to be like, you know what, I got this, it's fine don't let that pressure bother you just give yourself some time make sure you tell yourself look i need this day to myself i need three days to myself i need you know whatever but then make sure you like you know what i got you like let's get this shit done and then just do it and then remind yourself of who you is that's what i did the holiday pressure it's gonna be hard for me to edit the holidays i think it's gonna bring me on an emotional roller coaster because the holiday pressure i keep saying i am grateful excited and happy that i have my family great support system i am but like you know everybody is like bunned up been like happy with their significant other i think you guys are gonna be able to relate with what i'm about to say when you don't have that one like intimate person or that one person who can like see eye to eye and understand you deeper like maybe on an intimate level it's just not the same like you still feel lonely because you can't be a hundred percent a hundred a hundred a hundred percent yourself so like at the end of the day it's like only you really got you and at the end of the day even with a significant other you really have to always have you but i hope you guys get what i mean with your family even as close as i am with my family i honestly think i can only be 96 percent of myself with them you know like i'm not gonna open up fully a hundred percent the way I would open up to somebody I'm more close with, intimate with, understand deeper things on another level. And I just think like with family, I'm considerate to their feelings and their thoughts and their time. Not that I wouldn't be like that with my partner or whatever, but my partner, that's our job, you know, to be there for each other. To be in a relationship with somebody, you're taking on a huge responsibility, you guys. I hope you understand that. It's just different to have a significant other. Regardless, I still feel lonely. If you're out there and you feel lonely, you're not alone. As cliche as that sounds, I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, I definitely feel that way. That's why they say count your blessings because even when I do feel very lonely and I think about all the things I have and all the people I have in my life, that's how I pull myself together sometimes. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have a house, I have this, I have that, and, and I'm like, all right, I just needed some time, now I'm good. Next present. I hope you guys are enjoying me opening up. I don't want to open up too deep, but I'm trying. So this one is from my brother and B. It's a video microphone, camera universal. That's literally what it says. I can use it for, with a camera computer and with my phone. That's another thing I got. Thank you guys. Another thing that I've been trying to do is I hate when I make a decision and I'm like, is that the right decision? And I overthink and overthink. What I want to do this year is like, once I make the decision, 